So here is the big unveiling of our. In fact, this is actually the company name Yao Yao Feng, but we know it as Elipak in Nigeria. So they're going to bring the content out, and they'll get excited, just as excited as I am. Look at the faces of everyone. Look. <laughs> that man there, even though his name is Tosi, we call him Spirion. Anyone that can pronounce that word properly gets a prize, a mystery wow. prize. <laughs> Wow, this thing weighs 97. Okay, no, it's the noise. 97 dB, that's very loud though. I think 23, so it has to be closed. You can't disturb it without. We don't, we don't want it to get wet. And then 25, 25 liter tank. So it's pretty big. Um, gasoline generator. I watch this strong man help you. I bet I come up before I take the generator too. Okay. There might be something we didn't cut. Okay, there's a battery. Okay. So there it is. It's an 11.5 kVA gen, at least that's what we're told. And they gave us a 15 amp hour battery. It has a, what do you call it? It has um, a electric start, they say. Yep, there we go. There's an electric start. So look forward to installing it and once we do we'll let you know. Now there is a gasoline shortage in, like, in Lagos. So finding gasoline might be a problem, but we'll find it. So it's amazing we've got a generator and now we're not sure if we can find gasoline. So it's a 13 horsepower engine which isn't bad. Pretty big for what it's looking to do. No oil in units, so we have to, we have to put uh, oil in it before we start it. It has a choke, I've not seen one of those in a long time. And a carburetor, a tiny little one. This do a quick go around. So there is a DC, so we can we can charge batteries with that. So that's what this is. DC. I've not read the manual yet. Grounding, so we're definitely going to ground it. Here's the exhaust. And go around. And that's the single uh, single overhead valve engine. So we're pretty psyched. So these are the tires and the handle. <laughs> so they even give you two. Two. Oh, this is nice. Open this one. Please. Yeah, we're thinking of how we have to make these, but I'm happy they provided the tools. But yeah, this is nice. Um, 30 amps, 250 volts. And how many? It's the same thing. 30 amps. Yeah, 30 amps, 250 volts. So this is nice. We don't have to go not trying to find it. Uh, basic tools. Uh, we'll see all this okay, these are the vibration dampeners. So you put it on, you screw it underneath it. Okay, that's perfect. And tires. Nice, 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 nice. The number 13. So this is the generator. We've put it in, but there's no gasoline. And our wires are missing. We've not um, done our wires into the house yet. Uh, let me show you what the specifications say and then I'll tell you what my thoughts are. So let me go back here. So this is the, this is, rate, the claim is 11.5 kV. And if it's sh it shows you rated output 10 kilowatts, 230 volts at 50 hertz, maximum output 11, power factor of one. So single phase gasoline generator. Now this breaker here is rated at I think 27 amps. Let me see. Yep, 22.7 amps. So if that's 22.7 amps at 220 volts, that's about 5,600 watts. That that right there is a flag, right? Um, what else? Um, so with that trip, and then this here is rated at 30 amps. 30 amps times 250 volts. So we know we're not going to output 250 volts. So this here is limited at 220 volts and about 6,900 6, watts. So let's go back to the specification. So here are the models that they have. Uh, the biggest they show is the 10, which is this one. And the engine is rated at 9.5 horsepower. 
uh, that is not on the ours is not on this manual, but this is the manual they gave us. And then oil alert system, yes, forget all that stuff. So it's maximum at 50 hertz is seven. You see that number? So here, maximum is seven kilowatts, right? Um, so our voltage, of course, is um, 220 volts. And then all this stuff doesn't really matter. The weight is 80, oh, it's heavy. The weight is 86 kg. That is heavy. So, um, we've done part one. As you can see, we've grounded it. We have our three wires. We've run it through. Um, we had to tape that over. We're going to hide it in pipe. We broke open the floor to access the original pipe that was there from about 20 years ago. Uh, it's solid copper. As you could see, let me see if I get you a piece. Um, there you are. Solid copper wire. And then we'll run it to a breaker, AC breaker. And then these wires have gone into this changeover. We'll pull the wires out of this and run fresh wire from the changeover into the inverter. Okay, and then we ground, as you can see, that's our ground log. Okay, we ground it, run the ground all the way to our common ground bus bar that's here. And then the invert and the generator itself, that ground goes into that um, earth rod that's there. And then there's another one here and I just joined them by wire. I use one for DC and I use one for AC. So that's what we have so far. So I'm going to tomorrow will be the big test when hopefully I can find gasoline. We'll run all the wire connections into the house and then we'll start the generator and then see if it powers the house. If you have any, co any comments, please post them in the comment section below. If you've not subscribed, please, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.